G'day, I'm Mark Berg, and welcome to another week of Fishing Addiction, the show that surprises fishers all over the country with incredible fishing adventures. This week, it's part two of our adventure to Mackay, fishing with member Andy. Andy's having the time of his life. If you missed all the action from last week, let's take a quick look back right now. I'm looking for Andy. Uh, well, that's my name. So uh, again, thanks for having us here. We're filming uh, an episode of the show while we're here. So a couple of days ago, we surprised uh, Andy, which is over there. If you've ever seen the show, surprised him at his uh, birthday dinner with his family. So we'll be fishing the comp uh, the next couple of days and going offshore uh, on Monday, Tuesday, and then doing some barra fishing on Wednesday. He's over 30. Awesome. Your first little sooty. Yeah. But right now we're going to set the fishing addiction challenge. I think you've right. seen that before. Five species. That's it. Five, mate. It's nothing. Right, eh? Easy. One, a sooty grunter. Tick. You've done that. Now we're going to go offshore. We want at least three different species offshore. Okay. If they're this big, I'm not counting. Right? They've yep. got to be, got to be serious fish. Right? Three of those. Yep. And you got to get a barramundi over 80 centimeters. But there's a wild card. And I reckon everyone at home already knows what it's going to be. If you get a barra over a metre, you instantaneously win. Well, uh, I didn't win. <laughs> Mate, yeah, I reckon you've got a big sooty. Yeah, I reckon you've got a big Can you believe that? After the sooty comp. Andy. You were supposed to do sorry, that during mate. the comp, mate. A couple hours too late. Well done, cracking fish. First top water fish is a sooty grunter. Okay, so we've got so much more fishing to come. Let's get stuck into it, and hopefully Andy can win the seven thousand dollars worth of fishing gear, five grand from our very good friends at Wilson Fishing, and of course two thousand dollars from AddictTackle.com.au. Good luck, Andy. Let's go fishing. My old man was in the fisheries growing up. He's a fisher inspector all his life. So a lot of my memories as a kid is being out or near the water, even if it isn't near the water, it's around boats, mucking around with fishing gear, stuff like that. As a young kid, I remember dad bringing out his lures out of the tackle box and it was, just, it was just joy to us. So being out on the water, everything just washes away. It's just, you're out there on, in the water, there's creek, ocean, whatever. It just, it's, it's relaxing, it's just life's issues go away and you're just, you're just having fun. Well, there's definitely too gnarly out there, boys, for us. I mean, the boat would handle it, but it would be just gross, dude. It would be wet and it would just be, it would no good, right? Yeah, no fun for anyone out there. Yeah. So yeah, one of, the, one of the big things that was putting us off out there is we do have an outgoing tide at the moment. We've got the wind and the tide running together, but later on this afternoon, we're gonna have wind against tide and it's gonna turn the ocean into a bit of a washing machine. So it's not gonna be fun for anyone. Uh, what do you reckon we should do? Um, just with this wind, I think we probably and being with a half decent shot, if we go up to team, we'll get a little bit of a run through the day while the sun's up and as it goes down, we might try and do some top water barra stuff maybe. Okay, Timber Dam. Timber Dam is a very pretty dam, mate. You're going to love that. Yeah. And then tomorrow, well, we'll come up with a, we'll, we'll have a chat out with Dan. We'll come up with a plan for tomorrow. Yep. But I think your challenge needs to be changed because the blue water is now no out of the air. Yeah, like it forecasts six, seven knots. Yeah, yeah. It ain't six or seven knots. Is that yeah. typical for Mackay? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty, much. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty standard. All right, well, let's do that. We'll go for a fish up the dam, get the boat out, change the gear over. Our run up there. That's, That's fishing. Mother That's... nature. It's all good. All right, I'll uh, drive her up. It's not looking really good, so we've changed plan. We're going to go up to the dam. We're going to go and try and get uh, the boys some barra and. Uh, it's not going to be easy, it's a little bit cool at the moment, but I do feel pretty confident that we can see some fish today. 
I was really looking forward to getting out to do some reef species today. So I was chomping at the bit to get out there, and then when you got out the got out the mouth of the harbour there, and you, and you saw the waves rolling. So it's a bit disappointing. Um, not being able to get out there, but I was really chomping at the bit to try and get onto some different species I've never would have seen before. So, um, but that's cool, all good. That's fishing. Never know what's going to happen, and you're still fishing, so it's all good. Any kind of fishing is good fishing. So, fortunately for Andy, we're in one of the most diverse fishing regions Queensland has to offer. So, even though the offshore islands are off limits this trip, we still have a variety of locations we can visit. I have updated Andy's challenge to swap the three offshore reef species for any species common to Mackay. Not only is this fishing mecca in central Queensland known for its dams, Yungala, Kinchit and Timbra, with their hosts of Sooty Grunner, Saratoga, Sleepy Cod and Barramundi, but Mackay is also a dream location for chasing the Aussie bread and butter staples of Brim, flathead and whiting along the many beaches. So with three days to go, Andy's challenge is still very obtainable. It's shady, it's tucked right up in the bay over in that corner there. So yeah, yeah. yeah. it was hard to look there. Before we go though, I'm going to introduce everybody. You've seen this bloke over here with his mad moustache. I'll just let you know, his name's Mick. He's a, he's a Mackay local and he does a lot of content on... Um, YouTube. What's your YouTube handle? Uh, Mix Gone Fishing. Mix Gone Fishing. Check him out. It's on the screen right now. Check him out. He knows his stuff. You'll learn something from this fella because you never stop learning in this game. <laughs> but he's got us out here today on, on Timbra. Timbra? Timbra. Timbra. Damn. Yep. Complete change of scene from going offshore. <laughs> but um, any good fisherman should be able to adjust, pivot, change direction, plan, Z, <laughs> whatever we need to do. Yeah. You reckon we'll find him? I reckon we'll find him. It's up to Doesn't matter if we'll catch him. He's got to catch him, mate. That's right. <laughs> What is that one? 130? Are you being serious? No, I'm not if he hooks a big one, he'll get bitten off on the bite, eh? You reckon? He'll just go dunk and go off. What line are you going to try? That's like a hand tied pull up. Okay. Easier than an FG. Really? Yeah, look how quick I'm done. This is finished. And it's all just wrapping. You just All you're doing is wrapping over itself. And the risotto is the hardest part, but I lose everyone when I'm trying to teach them. Yeah, that, it is a really nice knot. So we're just going to come in nice and uh, quietly, just it's really shallow in there and you don't want to spook the fish. So we're just going to sit on probably three or something and just try and sneak our way in. And um, we've got a little bit of a creek up the back where you can see the, the lily um, flowers and stuff up in there. So basically, after that little bit of rain we've had, we should have a little bit of water flowing out of there and it gets all like the prawns and small fish and stuff. So it starts the whole life cycle in there. So. Fingers crossed we can find the barrow there. Looks really pretty. Yeah, it is. A little calmer than it was out the front there, mate. <laughs> Much nicer. Back in a dam. Was not expecting that today, but I'll welcome it. This is a very pretty dam. Yeah, send big casts as far as you can cast right down in there. If we'll hook fish, we worry about getting them out after. <laughs> When your lure hits the water, don't start moving it straight away. Just let the ripples disappear because a fish will come to it now. So in amongst all them weed towers, you've got like little channels that the fish will use like to swim through and hunt and stuff. So we are starting to get just some weed just here. So we might just pull up in this little gap and then just start fanning your cast out. Uh, September, October is when you get your biggest fish. So when it's first starting to cool up. So I don't like it when the water's too hot, like once it's up around that 30 degrees, it's just can be a real grind, but 25, 26 degrees is like ideal, I find. But yeah, there's a lot of, I've hooked more big fish in here than I've actually landed. It's just, as you can see, it's pretty wild. Too far, come bring it back. So that leaves your line, just start winding straight. Off the line now. Can you see it there? Is it, is it a barrow? I thought I saw weed that looked like a barrow, but I was more to the left of that. I was on the Yeah, no, that's weed. My bad. Unless I'm looking at a different one now. It looked like a barrow tail every day of the week. Yeah, I'm. I've got the barrow down. 
Oh, no. It's bad at... <laughs> That's good, though. That's all right. We're in the right area. We saw a fish. <laughs> Pressure's off. <laughs> Oh, it wasn't a big barrow, but it was nice to see one in here. Probably only about a 65 or something like that. Smash the flat shad, and the way these are designed, they do crush down very easily, but obviously, you know, a whole heap of trebles and a lure, you're gonna get a lot more fish to stick. Oh, but still very exciting that there's a fish there. Um, so it's just around the other side of the dam, it's up they call Middle Creek Arm, and um, it sort of snakes around a bend and then there's a big open flat with a bunch of, um, like a big hard weed edge on it. So, I know when this side of the dam's not fishing well, I usually run over that side and it's, I wouldn't say a sure thing, but it's one or the other. The fish are on one side of the dam or the other, so. Well, so far, big fat donut. We hooked one and I dropped it. Idiot. <laughs> but that happens. So we're gonna keep, that's the thing with these dams, you just gotta keep plugging away. Poor old Andy up the back, he's nearly asleep, but you're hanging in there, mate. I'm in there, mate, I'm in there, mate. Still keep, going. Good. Keep casting. Every cast is uh, one step closer to that meter fish. You like that? Yeah. Alright. We're gonna get a new spot. Let's go. Fishing the dams the last couple of days. Young Gala Dam was heaps of fun. Um, never been to comp before, so that was pretty different. Um, even got a few, so that's good. Never caught any of those kind of lures before in fresh and male, it's hard, so it's pretty stoked with that. And then we went out after the competition and hooked up that um, sooty on the surface lure, which is, I've never done surface fishing like that before, so that was, that was pretty awesome. Um, Fortunately, get out the blue this morning, because it was, but it was lumpy as, so that was probably a blessing in disguise, otherwise it might have been a messy day for us, but, um, so we came here to this one instead, and, and, uh, tried me, tried me guts out trying to get that barra, there's some sore arms from flicking lures all day, but anyway, it's beautiful, so I mean, what better place to do it anyway, so I might not have got that barra today, but still had a ball, so, yeah, long day, but looking forward to having another crack tomorrow. For your chance to come on the show, you've got to be a Fishing Addiction member. You can travel to some of the best fishing destinations in Australia and the world, including Vanuatu, New Zealand, far north Queensland, the Northern Territory and Western Australia, just to name a few. You also go in the draw for one of our incredible monthly prizes, just like this beautiful 17-foot Sportsman Reef. Simply go to fishingaddiction.com.au and sign up today. Well, it's a new day and I feel really confident that Mick's going to get us on some fish. Where are we, Mick? Uh, we're in uh, the Seaforth area, which is part of Mackay's net free zone. So the now, the net free zone, how good is that? How long has that been going for? Uh, it's been a few years now. I have been. I don't three or four, so, I think it yeah, is. Three to four years. And has so. it made a difference to the fishing? Uh, I believe so. In certain areas, it's sort of, you see like a lot more smaller fish coming. So a lot more spawning activity and stuff like that being yeah. happening by, from what I can sort of see, so. Oh, awesome. Yeah. And what are we targeting today? Uh, we've got a whole bunch of species we're gonna chase today. We're probably gonna start try for a barra and then we might go and try a little bit deeper for some black jew. And then... Oh, 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 oh Andy. Good. Yeah, good Big jewy would be good. And then uh, as the sun gets up a bit high, we'll probably just go chase some pelagic stuff on the points of current lines, so maybe some queenies and... Mate, the challenge is still in play. <laughs> as much as yesterday was a dud, it was a beautiful day. We didn't nice catch day. any fish. Yeah. The challenge is still in play. All right, Mick, well, we're in oh. your hands. We appreciate you looking out for us. Remember, you can look up his YouTube channel, Mick's Gone Fishing. Yep. Yeah, he's a legend. He's got some great content on there. You ready? I'm ready. Let's hit him. <laughs> Let's go fishing. Adios. Ready, excited. 
routine. He's walking the dog like a flipping champion. I love how this is so close to the boat ramp. Yeah. Three minute run. <laughs> Here we are. It's a good start. I want to. Uh, I need to catch it anyway, not me. Andy. No barrow this morning, but we've come to a spot that Mick loves, and it's um, a rocky spot, and it has big black jewfish on it. Right, yes. So I'm going to put a fish trap on for you, my favourite lure of all time. You're going to drop it to the bottom. We're only in about 8 metres, 10 metres of water. Drop it to the bottom. Once it's there, you're just going to lift and drop. You don't have to whine, you don't have to do anything. Just lift and drop, let the lure do the work. Now, when you hook one of these jewies, because it's so rocky here, you've got to get into him. Like, you've really got to... Really go hard on this fish, get a wind down, get his head up, because they will brick you like that. Yeah, You're looking right. forward to that, um, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We haven't been a rod for a few days, so let's uh, let's just hope it happens now, eh? <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, let's do this. All right, find your weapon. All right, nice and smooth. Don't go fast, watch how slow I do it. You'll feel the vibration through your rod tip. It's nice and easy, then let it sink back down again. Wait until it hits the bottom. See, not so far. You only have to do little hops. So you want to just lift it maybe a metre or two. You feel the vibration. Probably worth having a cast in between. One goddamn trout. Yeah. Come on. Trevally. Push up on the front side of this. You can pro I kind of see there's a bit of a reef just here, so we're just going to see if there's any bait holding on the front and hopefully get the boys something pelagic. Well, we've tried everything. We've tried the jewies, they didn't cooperate. Now we're casting around these little venom V swims around the rocky outcrops here looking for a GT or a Queenie or something. Something, Mick. We're on a really good moon phase. We've got a bit of run. Everything's in our favour, except for catching fish. And that's fishing. I'm sure all of you watching have had days like this. And we're trying to give this bloke a fishing adventure of a lifetime. Well, it's a good casting adventure of a lifetime. <laughs> Andy's not talking right now. <laughs> Andy's not saying anything. But all you can do in these situations is keep casting. You've got to push through the down times until you find the fish. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to keep pumping, keep casting, see if we can get this bloke a nice big fish. Just takes a bit of time sometimes. There's another little rock there. You see that rock there? You're starting to pick them. Just because this is, this is the prime area here. Here in that next point. There's a couple of rocks inside we can look at too. Oh, spill one. How does it miss the trebles? And hit it that hard. Seriously. Yeah. Finally got a strike and it didn't stay connected. Man, oh man, luck is not on our side today. Woo! Get cast. I reckon that was a trout, eh? Really? That's the one. There we go. Wine like a crazy man. Yep. Oh, oh, you're he's on, on, he's on. on. Got him. Go. Get in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's good. Yep. Oh, he's on, he's on. Got him. Go. Get in there. <laughs> oh, no, don't jerk it. 
Oh, dude, don't, okay, slow down. Is he still You're on, you're off. He's gone. You're off. Okay, so what you've done there is you've gone like this and then you just drop the rod so far yeah. forward, the line went loose. You gotta relax, keep it bending the rod, all right? Cast again. Relax. Don't drop your rod tip so quickly. Yeah, look, there's a fish rod here still. Oh, there's just stuff everywhere here. Oh, here we go. It's right under the boat. Oh, stay there, stay there, stay there. What was it? It's right here. He's just been spooked, but he oh, still yeah, might. He's a big um, blue bastard. Blue bastard, yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm after. We spooked him though, so that's no good. Bugger, that's what we're on. No, we're casting that. Oh yeah, no, that, that's oh, one. Right. That's one. There's two here. There's one there. That's the place Rim is talking about. <laughs> Yeah, I'll scrape it over the back of the hallway. <laughs> that could be one right there. They, they'll sit with their nose down and just sort of sit there. I want that thing so bad. Keep looking. There's one, there's always heaps more. It looked like a golden trevally. Yeah. Big, two big ones just cruising next to each other. They just went straight past that prawn and did not even think twice about it. Seriously, two big golden trevally like that cruise straight past. I popped a little prawn right in front of their noses and they just they completely ignored it and kept swimming. Nothing is eating. Mm. It's probably a flatty. Oh, then a fish on. <laughs> we caught a fish, guys. We've caught a fish. We've caught. We've caught. This pretty much sums up our day. It's a barra. It's a barra. Cooter. <laughs> that pretty much sums it up. Holy smokes. A stinky, stinky barracuda. Oh. oh, all you can do is laugh, right? There's nothing else but just... At least it's excitement. Really? What's that? Yeah, no, you won't get a hold out. Hold up. You'll get that. That's all you'll get. Stinky, stinky barracuda. Oh, my Lord. We need to put a hook in its back and send it over for a big barra. Oh yeah, no. I must admit it was nice to feel a bend in the rod, even though it was a very small, uninvited fish. But he's hanging around, isn't he? Listen, mate, you're free. Go, go. <laughs> we don't want you. Oh, come on. Wow. First little bite, I thought, oh, it Don't could be a barra. Barra, barra fishing? Yeah, so what you see on this sounder, that's all barracuda. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I just got another bite. Very half hearted bite, but it was a bite. <laughs> At least we got a fish to the boat. Yeah. Hey Andrew, do you copy? Yeah mate, gotcha. We caught a barra. Oh, thank God for that. A barracuda. <laughs> it was about eight inches, mate. <laughs> At least it was a barra. All right, well, that was a bit of a, a bit of a disappointment. Pretty tough day out there today, but you can't really make the fish bite. We did um, put, in, put in the hard yards, and uh, Andy definitely made, made the cast and uh, was very de dedicated and tried his best, but uh, can't make them bite all the time. So 
I don't really don't really have any excuses other than yeah, just maybe time of year, change of season, uh, cooler temps and stuff. You know, just changing between species. You know, summer species and winter species, and we're neither in between. So uh, we're neither here or there. So yeah, um, ten points for effort, but <laughs> unfortunately didn't get it done. So. A yeah, very, very pretty country, so even just motoring between different spots was, was very, very pretty country to sit back and enjoy the ride in between. Um, disappointing, obviously, didn't get any fish out there, but like they've all said, just Mackay had shut down, so there was nothing happening at all. So um, I sort of felt a little bit good because if the other guys in the boat weren't getting them, then at least I probably didn't have much chance of getting them either. So they're good fishermen, much better than me, obviously. So if the professional blokes aren't getting it, I didn't stand a chance either. So. So yeah, Mackay is well known for its you know diverse species and all that sort of thing. But uh, it's you know it just goes to show that that's that's what fishing is. You can't you know make it make it happen. We yeah. we definitely found fish. We saw fish and we were sitting on fish most of the day. But it's um, yeah, unfortunately that's just how it goes. It's they don't just jump in the boat up here. Yeah. <laughs> After the break, we take Andy to Kinton Dam for his last day of fishing and his last chance to win the fishing addiction challenge. The fishing was tough at Teambra and also equally tough at Seaforth. So everything now rests on Andy catching a barramundi over one metre. With the help of Pricey, we are hoping to get Andy his dream fish and there's $7,000 worth of tackle that's on offer. So we're on Kinchant Dam today. We're back with Pricey. And uh, the fishing addiction challenge is not dead. That joker is still in there for you, mate. That uh, that option to potentially catch that meter barramundi, you do that, no big ask. <laughs> and after the last two days, we're not feeling overly confident. But if you do that, mate, five thousand bucks worth of gear from Wilson and another couple of grand from Attic Tackle. So seven thousand bucks on the line. No no pressure on pricey whatsoever. None. It might seem like you're casting at nothing. But the barrows get in the big pockets of weed and they get their own little part that they like. And if they're hungry, they come through. And so they can be anywhere in here. We just got to go and find one and we'll be right. On the ground there. Yeah, it takes the time, mate. It's a good one. Yeah. No, no panic here. <laughs> Gonna jump. Where are we, mate? Uh, we're good. Sorry, just mate. come down the side, it's probably easier. Oh, he's a nice fish. Yeah, solid. That's what we come for. Gold. He he sucked the whole down. thing down. <laughs> Next one to climb around. Can you pull his head around? Yes! Now, yeah, can we grab that net? Come around here. How long is that taking? Can <gasps> someone grab that rod, mate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just he's a, I reckon he's a metering. Oh. oh! How easy is that? Oh. 15 casts. I've got to be honest, casting two full days with virtually no fish, or no fish, and then to come out and do it in the first half an hour and get a lovely fish like that, look at how gold he is. He absolutely smashed it. And I actually didn't know that I was hooked, but I'll tell you in a second, we'll get that out. Oh, gosh. Your turn soon. Come over here, Andy. I want you to really have a look, good look at this fish. Let's have a look how big this guy is. I'm saying short of a metre. I reckon a 93. 93. 93 centimetres. That is a magical fish. Look how gold he is. Oh, it's beautiful. They go gold when they're weed dwellers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When they become school and fish, like they get out in the main deeper water and school up, they go a silvery colour. How so crazy, isn't it? The, the darker you get them, the more lonely they are. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> All right, a couple of quick photos and we'll send this guy home. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Go feel good. All right. OK, thank you very much. You are spectacular. Oh, she's already biting down on my hand. It's not going to take long. They're such tough fish. I know, mate. I know. All right, OK. Off you go. See you, big girl. A big boy, I should say. <sighs> now, I'll quickly show you that, that lure. This is a, a duo. I've upgraded the hooks on it, and we've just put two hooks on, 
got rid of the middle one so she just sinks slowly. It's actually called a tariff. It's a duo tariff. So I've cast this one out, twitch, 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 sinks very, very slowly. And what actually happened then is I didn't feel the bite, but what I saw was a gold flash. And as soon as I saw that turn, I knew he'd eaten it. No pressure, but he'd come towards me. So in that situation, if you see that, you see that fish turn on it, the line goes slack, all I've done is I've struck as hard as I possibly can. And luckily enough, the hook's set in his mouth, and you can see that leader is all frayed. <laughs> Look at that. And don't be lazy, cut it off and retie. That's good hard leader too. You good hard leader, hard yeah. Stuff. Very, very good. Oh, righto Andy, we need to get you one, mate. Righto. We need to get you one, brother. Woo! Good thing in fishing too, when anyone catches a fish, you always shake the hand, mate. It's yeah, like thanks, Pricey. Thanks, brother. Good Yours on you, Andy. Mate, eh? Cheers, mate. So the chances of Andy getting his meat of fish, I think they're looking all right. Good moon phase too. And of course, we've got Pricey. What more could you ask for, eh? Bit of a handicap, no pressure, but eh? no, no pressure, mate. Yeah, you'll be right. See that shiny, see that shiny water up in there. We'll get a bit closer, but no, on the ripples. But if you aim just on the edge of the, yeah, the wind will blow it this way a little bit. So sometimes when you cast, you just cast up a little bit, and the wind moves it through the air. So you think you sort of know how to wet a line and catch a feed down the creek, but then you fish with these blokes and know what they're doing and just, yeah, amazing how much you can pick up. So, yeah, picked up heaps from Price, and I'll hopefully take it back to my own fishing down south again, but nah, he's a really smart and funny man. Funny man, kept the boat laughing all afternoon. Well, years ago, I, I said to my mate, do you want to come for a fish at Faust? And I said, only one condition, that I'm not coming home until I catch a fish. So I cast for 23 hours and jumped seven barrel off, and then the eighth one stuck. And you should have seen the look on his face. <laughs> <laughs> He'd slept all night, been in the sun all day, and I still cast them, but we got one in the end, so never let them beat you. That geo, mate, you watch a barrel come through that weed and smash him. I bet you they do. I've seen a trout take a, a duckling. Come on, Andy. I believe in you. I believe I can fly. I believe Andy can catch a barra. Got that right. <laughs> yeah. You can do it. Oh, did you get a knock there? Nah, just wait. What have we got? Six o'clock on the dot. Six o'clock, I reckon. I reckon we've got about half an hour left. We need a fishing miracle right now. It is a great time of the night, so you just never know. It might still happen. Getting into the lakes and actually hitting big snags, big fish, just just that sense of getting a massive big fish on the end of the line, something that you just, 10 times the size you've ever caught before, just looking forward to nailing that nice big, that nice big fish and, you know, always to, the dream's always been the barra. Um, the only time I've ever caught a barra was in a cast net by mistake. So I've never caught a barra on a line, whether it be a bait or a lure. So to actually nail one and to feel it fight, get a huge one, just be a dream come true. Well done, keep the weight, keep the weight. Keep the weight, that's it, don't panic. Just, yeah, you're right. Keep the weight, keep the weight on him. That's all you gotta do. We got that land in there? I got it. Yeah, pump and wind, mate. That's it. Lift your rod. Nice fish. and easy, no hurry. Leaning towards me. Got him. Yes, we got you a barrel. Yes. Oh my gosh. Get down there, mate. Oh, oh my gosh. Finally. 
How easy is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, you stay there, I'll come to you guys. Holy smokes. Now, I think you can already tell, it's not the meter fish. It's not the meter fish. But it's a barramundi. Oh my lord, I'm so happy for you. Oh, that plastic right. tea. Let's get him on the deck, yep. Oh, nice fish. Nice fish. All right, get him untangled. And that hook's gone through there, so you right, right yeah. with that. Yep. I'll let you get that out. You want pliers? <laughs> How hard. Congratulations, your first ever barramundi. <laughs> Does that feel good? Well, you can't say I didn't work for it. <laughs> Mate, well, I think Hell. Pricey nailed it when you said, well, I know it's no consolation, but at least your casting's improved dramatically. <laughs> oh, that oh, is so dear. cool. Mate, Look, I'm so happy for you. Eh? At the end of the day, you know, it's been really hard work the last few days. We have tried, oh, I, I can't, I can't, so we, we could have tried any harder. And we literally have 10 minutes to go. And after three days of no fish and 10 minutes to go, you've managed to catch a barramundi. That is nuts. Oh, mostly here. Yeah, what a beautiful fish. How gold is he? Just gorgeous. Well done. That fish is probably about a 66 or 67 centimeter, but for its length, it's a chunky fish. Bit of weight there, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, nice fish, mate. You've done, you've well, done well. The arms are absolutely hanging <laughs> off. <laughs> but, all that cast well done. Yeah. I'm, Feels I'm, good to hold it, that's for sure. Well, I tell you, I mean, to come out here and to catch a barramundi over a metre as your first barramundi, I mean, it's a pretty hard task to ask of anybody, to be honest. Yeah. Um, but at the end of the day, mate, to be able to leave and knowing that you've worked hard and you've been rewarded, feel good? It's good to have. I can cross that one off the list, mate. Have you had a good time? I've had a great time, mate. The boys have been really good. And everyone's tried really hard. I know the fishing's been tough. Yeah. Because everyone's saying that, but I tell you what, everyone has put so much effort into it, so I really do appreciate all the help, eh? No worries. All right, That's I'm going to grab your phone and take a photo for you, mate. Have to do that. Actually, I'll do it on my phone and I'll send it to you. Oh, that's a great one that YouTube likes together. That's good. Nice, one, two, three. Ah, that's great, guys. Oh, yeah, mate, he's worked so hard for his fish, and, and that's barra fishing. You just got to keep casting and casting and casting, and then it happens for you, and it's all worth all right, it. We're going to do the that big effort. Yeah, Will? Not yet. So, yeah, that's magic, mate. I'm so happy for him, eh? Big smiles everywhere, eh? Sleep better tonight. All right, mate, this fish deserves to live, and hopefully one day you can come back and catch him again when he's a lot bigger, over eh? Over that metre. Over that <laughs> metre. All right, when you're ready, mate, you can right. literally spear him in or lay him over on his side if you want to. Let him... I'll spear him. Oh, you spear him? You should be fine. Just give him a, a dive and... There he is. And away he goes. Thank you, mate. <laughs> oh, finally got... You did it! You got a barrel! Wow! I think it's time to... Uh, Go get a drink, what do you reckon? Yeah, I think. You deserve <laughs> one or five, mate. Oh, gosh. All right, let's go home, guys. Mate, when the sun went down three days, no fish, pretty much resigned myself to the fact that that was it. I wasn't getting a barramundi um, or anything out of there, to be honest. So, like, ten minutes before closing time and, and, and got it. So, pretty lucky. So, yeah, um, it's awesome. Yeah, it's great. First little barra on a lure, so it's great. First barra, so I'm um, stoked, mate. Yeah, actually... I can't believe it happened because honestly, so close to shutting time. I thought oh, that was it. So I was in a bit of a low spot <laughs> um, and resigned myself to not getting it. So yeah, it was awesome. awesome. I've got to thank my wife, Christine, for throwing us in that um, and let me have a shot at the challenge. She didn't win the challenge, obviously, so which is a bit of a shame, but hey, it's, it's, it's still a prize getting up here and looking at country and, and trying fishing that I've never done before. So Christine, darling, I love you lots. Thank you so much for um, sorting it out and getting a huge surprise on me. Got me totally. Um, love you darling, love you kids, missed them for the week but looking forward to getting home now and giving them all a cuddle but yeah it's been a good fun week so thanks darling. Well that brings us to the end of our adventure here in Mackay, special thanks to everybody involved in getting us up here, Mackay Council, Reef Marine, Andrew you're a legend, you did a great job, looked after us, Sportsman's Boats and of course our very good mate 
pricey. Mick got us out there as well. Mick's gone fishing. Everyone's been involved and done a great job looking after us. They really have treated us like royalty. And Andrew, our fishing addiction member, well, the fishing was tough, but he did things and caught things that he's never done before, which is fantastic. I'm sure he's had a great time. Now remember, for your chance to come on the show, you've got to be a member. Sign up today at fishingaddiction.com.au and it could be your door I come knocking on next. And you might even win yourself one of our amazing monthly giveaways as well. So until next time, I'm Mark Berg. You stay safe and God bless.